In this video, we'll discuss a very interesting and unique problem in differentiability. Now it says that we are given a function f which is an injective function that is it is 1 1 in the domain a to b and range c to d. If alpha is the point in open interval a b such that f has left hand derivative l and right hand derivative r at this point x equals alpha where both L and R are non-zero and they are different and they are negative. Then we need to find left hand derivative and right hand derivative of its inverse function at x equals f a respectively. So there is a lot of information given for this question. Now we are given this function which is 1 1 and which is defined from a to b and then it says it is not differentiable at alpha. Now its left hand derivative at alpha is L which is negative and its right hand derivative at alpha is R which is also negative. Now say we have this point alpha. Now left hand limit at alpha is L which is negative. So that means this function is decreasing in the left neighborhood of alpha and right hand derivative is R which also is negative but different. So on the right neighborhood of alpha also this function will be decreasing but with different slope. Now we need to find left hand derivative and right hand derivative of f inverse at x equals f alpha. Now this function it is defined in the domain a to b and its range is from c to d. Now at alpha if we draw this left hand derivative its slope is l and in the right neighborhood of alpha this slope is r. Now we know that for inverse function we just have to take reflection of this function about y equals x line. So if we draw this y equals x line and if we take reflection of this function about y equals x line then this function will be drawn like this and this part will be drawn like that. So we have this point now now this is alpha and this is f alpha because this point was alpha and f alpha and for inverse function x and y they interchange so this point is alpha and f alpha now if we look at now if we look at this left hand side tangent at alpha now suppose this is delta x and here it is delta y so we can write delta y upon delta x it is equal to l now if we take the reflection of this tangent about y equals to x line then it will be drawn like this now here delta x and delta y they will interchange so in this case whatever was delta y will now become delta y will become delta x. So in this case slope of this tangent it will be delta x upon delta y and this delta x upon delta y is nothing but 1 by l. Here if we look at this graph then for this function fx it was left hand derivative but for this inverse function f it is on the right side of f alpha. So that means right hand derivative of f inverse x at x equals f alpha it will be 1 by l. Then the same way if this is r and if we take its reflection here it will be this 1 by r. So previously which was right hand derivative for fx now translates to reciprocal of 
left hand derivative of f inverse x so left hand derivative of f inverse x at x equals f alpha l b 1 by r so answer to this question will be 1 by r and 1 by l so previously for fx left hand derivative is l but for f inverse left hand derivative is 1 by r and for fx right hand derivative is r whereas for inverse its right hand derivative is 1 by l so that is the difference between the two functions now all this is very difficult to visualize in a graph so what we'll do is we'll try and solve this question analytically now we are given this function so again we'll draw the function so we are given this function f which is 1 1 and at alpha it is not differentiable this point is f alpha left hand derivative at alpha it is l and right hand derivative at alpha it is r now for this function we clearly know that it is a decreasing function which means f alpha minus h it is greater than f alpha and will be greater than f alpha plus h now left hand derivative at alpha which is f dash alpha negative it can be expressed as this limit h tends to 0 f alpha minus h minus f alpha upon minus h it is l and right hand derivative at alpha will be this limit h tends to 0 f alpha plus h minus f alpha upon h and this is equal to r so this is already given in the question now what we'll do is we will let beta equals f alpha so this point this is beta now if we increase beta that is if we write beta plus h then if we increase beta which is say beta plus h it is increasing the value that means we are moving towards the left hand side of alpha so that means this is equal to f alpha minus h dash and if we are decreasing the value of beta then beta minus h dash we are moving towards right of alpha so there will be this f and alpha plus some small value h dash now we'll start writing derivatives of its inverse function so left hand derivative of f inverse at beta which is f alpha will be this beta negative and we let this as limit h tends to 0 f inverse beta minus h minus f inverse beta upon minus h now basically f inverse beta minus h is alpha plus h dash so we can write this as alpha plus h dash minus f inverse beta is simply alpha minus alpha upon and then this minus h we can write this minus h as f alpha plus h dash minus beta now here alpha will cancel and when h tends to 0 h dash also tends to 0 now this is limit h dash tends to 0 h dash upon f alpha plus h dash minus beta and beta is f alpha now we can also write this as limit h dash tends to 0 1 upon f alpha plus h dash minus f alpha upon h dash and basically this is nothing this is right hand derivative of this function f in the neighborhood of alpha so this is right derivative at alpha and right derivative at alpha is 1 by r so left hand derivative of this function 
at f a it is 1 by r and in the same way we can find its right hand derivative. Now we can write its right hand derivative as f inverse beta positive and this is limit h tends to 0 will be this f inverse beta plus h minus f inverse beta upon h. Now f inverse beta plus h is alpha minus h dash. So it will be this limit. Now h dash tends to 0 and this is alpha minus h dash and f inverse beta is alpha. And again we can write this h as f alpha minus h dash minus beta. F alpha minus h dash minus beta and beta is f alpha. Now here alpha and alpha will cancel so we can write this as this limit h dash tends to 0 and we will rearrange this as f alpha minus h dash minus f alpha upon minus h dash which is nothing but left hand derivative alpha and which is 1 by l. So left hand derivative is 1 by r and right hand derivative is 1 by l. So we have solved this question graphically as well as analytically.